Hey everybody, I just had a uh, coffee at McDonald's and since I stopped drinking coffee, well, over a year ago now, maybe two years, I, I forget, but I really get a charge out of coffee now. I was feeling um, a little tired, but now, you know, I, I feel a nice boost. It's, it's hard to describe. It's Sometimes it's more pronounced than this, but right now I just get a jolt of energy. It could be that I had something to eat at the same time. Because I've been doing the intermittent fasting where um, I try not to eat for at least 12 hours after the last time I eat at night. Ideally, I try not to eat after like 8 o'clock at night, preferably 6. And I even try to stretch it the window tighter. So if I stop eating, let's just say 7 p.m. right in the middle, I will try not to eat until like noontime the next day. So that gives me, you know, 17 hours of intermittent fasting. And what that does, it, it is, well, you can research it on your own, but there's a lot of, a lot of benefits. Especially if you're, uh, um, you know, trying to get back into shape. It really helps the body focus its energy in the right way. So look at this place, huh? Ningbo is one of my favorite cities in China. And at nighttime, it's, it's spectacular. I came here uh, quite a bit when I first started coming to China. But I, um, <clears throat> I haven't been here, I think, in four years. And it's the same in many ways, and it's uh, compared to other parts of China, it hasn't grown as much. Property prices here haven't taken off as fast. Uh, back when I looked at property five, back in 2000, I was considering moving here and studying Mandarin full time. Well, full time classes, that still work, but. Um, and that was in January of 2010. And the problem was, was I hadn't started studying Mandarin at that time so I couldn't they required it at that time they I don't know if it's changed but at that time they required you to take and pass a proficiency test in Mandarin pay attention it almost hit me there's a church right down there you can see right behind me I said pay attention you almost hit me yeah you could hurt somebody with that. Yeah. Kid fly, flies by me at 40 miles an hour. You see the church in the background? That's a uh, cathedral that I walked by yesterday. You really... See, I'm an idiot because I'm not paying attention here. Now, you think I'd be safe on a sidewalk. It's, you're not. There, sometimes there are people driving cars, but definitely bicycles and sometimes motor scooters. And they don't give a if you're in the way or not. If you get in their way, they'll run you over and keep going. I've seen it. it hasn't happened to me, but I've seen it happen to other people. And they take off. They don't stay around to make sure you're okay. So, but normally I'm paying attention. That time I wasn't. And thankfully that kid, yeah, I mean, he, I don't know if it's on fa camera, but he literally, I mean, he brushed against me. That's how close it was. I felt him brush up against me. So, now I'm paying attention. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I forget what I was saying, but the thing is, when I do come here, I am never as efficient as when I'm at home. It just takes so much energy to, to adjust to the play. And that's me, maybe not other people, but for me. It, it just takes so much energy just to do the basic things that you do at home. You know, you do certain things unconsciously at home, and you get here, and it's like, you know, it takes a lot of thinking and a lot of planning to do just the basic things. So, uh, oh, I, I bought my glasses. I got my glasses. Let me put them on. Okay, these are my glasses. And, uh... I paid uh, 985 yuan for the uh, frames and the lenses, which is, I think, about 130 bucks. Thank you. 
is that right? Yeah, about 130 bucks. And uh, then I got the uh, the tinting. So in the sun, when I'm in the sun, these uh, turn to like sunglasses. That's a great option. I had that with my last glasses. My last glasses were glass, and I dropped them, and one of the lenses broke. That was about three years ago, and I never replaced them. So, and then uh, this option for the tint, it, 585 yuan, which is, I think, 90, 88, 90 dollars. So, roughly 235 dollars, I got these glasses. And it makes the distances real, sharpens them up. Before, um, I never wanted to get the LASIK. I don't trust it, even though people have had success for many years. I just, if, if I don't, if it's not life or death, I'm not going under a knife. God forbid I'm the guy who they take out the eye by mistake. But, um, what was I saying? Uh, oh, so in the distance, what would happen is the images would become very hazy and fuzzy. So, yeah, you know, I'd have to squint to really read it. These, it's like a magnifying glass, these glasses. I'm nearsighted. So, all right, so, I'll just spin around here. A lot of construction here. Um, Ningbo is probably a tier two city. Used to be tier three, I'd say it's tier two now. But it's right around. And what I've noticed the last couple times I've come to China is a lot of the growth, a lot of this construction growth now is in the tier two, tier three cities where they're now putting in the highway, uh, you know, additional roads, but specifically a lot of subways like the tier three, tier two, tier four cities never used to have. Uh, never used to have uh, subways. They relied on buses, and now all the streets are torn up because they're put in subways. So now these smaller cities will have one line, two lines, and if I come back in five years, they'll have ten lines. But these smaller cities, like Ningbo, it's a smaller city, but they have ten million people. So with ten million people, you need a subway. Otherwise, you'll have a lot of cars. All right, here they come. It's a mad dash. See all the traffic. Well, I can't get it. All right, signing off.